Hello, everybody. So we have a program called Can I Ride the Roller Coaster? So within this program, you're going to be using conditionals and requesting user input in order for you to solve it. So what I did, instead of just <clears throat> going through my lab and re keep repeating it, keep repeating it, what I did is I used a multi-line comment and put in the conditions that I'm supposed to check for. So for example, and I did more or less just a little bit what pseudocode looks like. Uh, but it's more like a written version and not exactly zero code, but anywho. So I'm checking if my H is greater than 18. The height doesn't matter if you can write the right or not, okay? Else, okay, so if you're 18 or younger, the user has to be uh, taller than 50, 50 inches in order for the user to write, okay? So this is some of the conditions that we met. If you have a frequent rider pass, then the ride costs two quarters, else the rides cost four quarters, right? And then you can print true if the user can write, else it's going to be false. Additionally, I'm forgetting that the uh, operator of the rides takes in tips. This is an option. You don't necessarily have to give them a tip, but if you're feeling generous, you can. Okay. So one of the next things that I like to do when I begin programming is putting in things like in, into code segments. So um, requesting user input. So I have a section that's going to be doing that. Testing for whether and the user can write or not. And then I can do a statement, something like uh, how much did I spend on the right? Or I could say print how much I spent on the right. Okay, so it gives me more or less of a clear indication as to where I want to go with my program. All right, so first let's request user input. So H, for sure, I know that I'm going to be asking for an integer. And let me see. Input, and my prompt could be something simple as what is your age? Let's make a new line and then we move on. So H, we're requesting H, we're requesting uh, the height of the user. So we can just call it height and sort of like this. And what is your height? And then we're just going to give a prompt to the user like our height, height in inches. We got question mark, it's better. And then let's see, let's make a new line. So we have age, height, and then do they have a pass? So I'm just going to call this variable pass. Um, let's call it something else. Frequent write pass. Frequent, frequent writer pass. We can do something like that, FRP. Or you just do um, write pass. So then write pass, we're going to do, get a, we could just get a string back. Um, remember, you don't, you don't have to typecast this. We do have a frequent writer pass. There we go. Let's see, and then do we want to give a tip? Okay, so this one's optional. We can just call this one a tip. Um, let me close down this a little bit so it becomes more clear. Tip, um, it's an int. And then we're going to say something like how many quarters would you like to tip your uh, your um if the operator. operator so that's, that's a little bit lengthy and i kind of don't like le doing lengthy prompts but um just because it's gonna look a little bit weird over here so let me show you what it looks like what is your age so 18 what is your height and inches let's just go with 50 for now Jeff, if I can run past, yes. How many, would, how many quarters would you like to tip the operator? Uh, maybe we could just put, would you like to leave a tip? I think that'll be smaller. Or would you like to tip? <clears throat> or how many quarters? How many quarters would you like to tip? And it's still fairly shorter than what I had. Cool. So then now we can get into my conditions. So this is all one code segment of, that I'm requesting from the user input. And I can actually request an additional one, which will be cost of the write. 
and I can just create a variable called cost, but we don't know what the cost is because the cost is very different at, at every given condition. So this is what we can do, okay? So let's start testing. First of all, one of the first things that I want to test for is if the, uh, if the person, if H is greater than 18, okay, then certain conditions are going to execute. Okay, so and then I can align this with my else statement. So automatically else. So let's see, let's put a condition here. So if uh, H is greater than 18, then you can write, but we need to make sure also that like, depending on like cost and everything else, uh, but we can do a simple program because the main thing that they're requesting is can the user run? Let's get it out of the way. So we can print true because they want us to print out print true if the user can write else you write false. Right? So if if they're eight, eighteen or older, they can write it regardless of anything else. Okay. Else we gotta meet different conditions. And here is where I can nest some of these. So if height is greater than fifty, then the user can write print. We can do true. User can write if it's if it's fifty or uh, equaling to fifty the height uh, or less than then it, the user cannot write. There you have it. And pretty much this is most of the program literally because the the way that the that they're asking you is not really like um, how much like is going to be the price, okay not really telling you any of that information. Actually, our program is here because like pretty much done because they just want to know whether you can write or not. Uh, the prompt isn't very clear, but what they wanted you to do is to more or less calculate what is the cost. And this is where this program gets a little bit more hectic. Right. So now we need to check for certain other conditions. So for example, we need to check if uh, the, the user has a write pass, okay? the right pass equals to yes, okay, then the cost is going to equal to, let's say, two quarters. Let me see. Um, yeah, it's two quarters. So it's going to equal two, and I can just put a two, and then now it's an integer. All right. Else, okay, if they don't have a writer pass, now I'm checking else. If they don't have a writer pass, then the cost is going to be, if they don't have a pass, I think it's four quarters that they have to give ah, if they don't. Okay. And over here, it's going to be more or less of the same thing. If they are able to write, okay, we can just simply copy and paste, but I don't like doing it this in Python. So I can nest this if the write pass equals yes. Then my cost will be two quarters. If I don't have it, then the cost is four. There we go. And I'm, I'm, I apologize. This is actually supposed to say read false uh, because this one is aligned with you know, with this one. So with this else, and if the height is greater than fifty, then you can ride. If and then this if is aligned with this else. If your height is 50, uh, equal to 50 or less, it's supposed to read false. I'm sorry, I wrote true. So let me, I made that correction. And our program looks like it's pretty much complete, but we need to do a couple of other things before we actually finish. Okay. So on our print statement, we can do something like, okay, we, now we got to check how much is spent on the run. We can do something like this, and we can do a print statement, and we can do something like, and then we do comma, and we can do something like, for example, um, cost. We can put this in parentheses. Cost. If we wanted to get, like, for example, um, quarters, we wanted to get a flow. We can just put times twenty-five, and then. Uh, this is going to turn, this operation is going to turn whatever uh, this into quarters. And then we need to do plus our tip, whatever we tip that person. But remember, that needs to be also in quarters. And actually, we can do something like this cost plus our tip 
Okay, whatever these are, it's going to give us quarters times 0.5. So it gives us a float point. All right, so now it looks like the program is should behave how it's supposed to. So let's go ahead and take a look really quick. So let's run our program. So what is your age? Let's test it for this first condition right here. So if I am 19, and the, the inches are not going to matter for this one, do you have a frequent writer pass? If I type in yes, and how many quarters would I like to leave a tip for? So let's go ahead and leave a tip of two quarters. So this should equal to 1.0 at the end, okay? Because 50 cents uh, plus 50 cents should give us a dollar. And there you go. The, the, the statement true prints out because I can write, and it tells me you spent 1.0. So let's test it with another one. So what is your age? 19, height and inches, doesn't matter because as long as I'm taller, um, I'm older than 19 uh, or 19, I can write, you have a freaking writer pass. I'm gonna put no. How many quarters would you like to tip? And for here, I'm just gonna put two, two quarters. So the cost should be four quarters, which is a dollar, right? dollar and then these two quarters is 50 cents so it should be a dollar and 50 cents and there you have it our program is behaving like how it's supposed to we can run it one more time to run it to see what is my age if my age is 18 so then that will be going down over here and i can check if my height is larger than 50 so 51 do i have a um african writer pass do i have it and i'm just going to go ahead and go with no which you like the tip too, and I think it gives us 1.5. There you go. If I didn't have the pass, this one right here gets executed. So what's happening right here is that we're updating this variable called cost at every single location. Okay. And then cost eventually, as it goes through the conditionals, it gets updated. We sent it right here within our print statement, cost plus the tip, and then times point, point 0.25 will give us our, our answer. Uh, I hope this video helped. And just once again, uh, some of the most common uh, errors that we're getting right now within our if statements is that we're not doing the proper indentation. We're not closing them with the colon. And maybe if if your if statement, else if statements are not in blue, so this is also a happen I've seen, is that it's why because you put everything together. Uh, Python doesn't, uh, this is, I think it's trying to recognize it as a, uh, variable that doesn't exist, okay? Or it's gonna tell you as a syntax error. Let's check it out. Maybe it's syntax, yeah, there you go. Syntax error, so you, you wanna not do this. And whenever you go from line to line, um, please, 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 please just click enter. And you see it will align you to your next line, okay? If you move your, your keys to the left, it's gonna give you like a half little indentation and you don't want that they might produce an error if you have it this that way okay just uh, forewarning uh, if you do it that way and you start writing it might give you a little error let's check it out yeah it gives you an error in another line because it's supposed to be one full indentation okay so get used to doing your your tabs using the tab key in order for you to uh, properly format this okay do not use the left and right arrow keys it might give you an error okay all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see, is there any other error that was frequently used when we're doing for conditionals? Yes, it's this one. Some people are writing uh, this, which means gets, and it's not gets, yes, okay? You, this means that you're updating write pass to this variable, which you can't do within a conditional expression. You wanna test for equality, okay? You wanna be able to test for equality. And yeah, I think that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helped a lot. If you have any other questions, drop your questions within the comments section. Thank you all so much.